You know it takes more than just athletic ability to earn a roster spot on an NFL club. When it comes down to role players and the bottom end of the roster, intangibles can go a long way, especially when one of them is determination. And Cowboys six-round draft choice Deion Anderson has plenty of it. Our Ted Madden introduces the fullback with Personality Plus. Hi, Cowboy fans. How you guys doing? This is Deion Anderson. Don't feel bad if you don't know who he is. After all, he's just a rookie, a backup fullback, and a special teams player. And you can see he's a pretty ferocious blocker. Uh, he is. Anderson was a sixth round draft pick, and while he has a good chance to make the team, he's certainly not a lock. But he's a guy you should know, and not just because of this infamous moment at training camp when he ate a cricket to settle a bet. Yeah, I picked it up, and legs was kicking and everything. Right. Looking at everybody, they recorded me on their cell phones. And you know, choo 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 swap. <laughs> no, there's more to Deion Anderson than his willingness to eat insects. On the field, his willingness to do anything on special teams could be his meal ticket to a roster spot. You're talking about anybody that's in that position, if they can help you on special teams. Seems to have the right attitude on all, all that. But what really sets Anderson apart is his personality. And while that may not go a long way toward making the team, it will go a long way to making him a fan favorite. This guy has a chance to develop into a cult hero really quick. Unbelievable personality, in the source of comedy, great guy, quote machine. I just be me. Yeah, just uh, go around, uh, you know, with good guys like <laughs> AZ right here. Bother people all day. <laughs> bother people every all day. day, every day. Yeah, you know, just uh, try to, I don't know, take people's minds like off of, uh, anything that's bothering me, you know? Because uh, I tend to keep my mind on what's bothering me. <laughs> it's hard to believe that Deion Anderson was said to have character issues heading into the draft, but he did miss the 2005 season with UConn because of academic issues. Eventually, he found his way back to the football field, and the story of how he did that is straight out of Hollywood. You can even pick which Hollywood story you want, Rudy or The Pursuit of Happiness. They both work. In each movie, the main character is homeless at one point, just like Anderson was in the spring of 06 after dropping out of school. You know, I took it upon myself to just stay in the locker room. Um, one of my old friends had a car that was broke down, so I just put all my stuff in his car, like out of the uh, old apartment that I was staying in. And I'd go to the car, get my stuff, go in the locker room, change, shower, sleep on like the couch or whatever with like three hoodies and a couple pairs of sweats because it was the winter. Anderson has seen The Pursuit of Happiness and his story is a lot like that. Will Smith's character and Anderson both end up with their dream job. This part of my life is called happiness. I could tell what he was going through, like the frustration, but he still understood what he was going for. He knew what he wanted, so he just kept on pushing and kept on pushing until he got it. And when he got it, like it's just that feeling of finally, you know? But it's like, why stop now? Gotta keep pushing. So why stop now? Gotta keep pushing. So as the preseason continues, Anderson will keep pushing for a roster spot and most of his pushing will come on special teams and especially the kickoff unit. I think he will make the team. You know, I, I think special teams is going to be what keeps him on the team. They did use a draft pick on him. And, and seriously, watch the guy on kickoff coverage. He is a human cannonball. Um, I'm very intense. Um, I love you. You love me. You love football. And everyone loves a good story. Ted Madden, Channel 8 Sports at Valley Ranch.